Hey y'all, this is Matt from the future. So upon review of my footage, upon editing all of this, my intro either corrupted or never recorded. Even though I spoke to the camera and did an intro. So, here we go. Welcome to the high country. This is some elk that I saw on the way up. You'll enjoy some of their sounds in a moment. And uh, we're off to the lake. We're just going to do some trout fishing. We're honestly just getting out of the house and going to do some fishing. Know where there's a nice little lake where I could set up on all day and just sit there and watch my rods and do some trout fishing and relax. So that's what we're off to do. Y'all come along, let's have an adventure. Got it. <laughs> Some blood there. Blood there. And there. And there. Seems to be a decent area. Ah, here we go. Set three holes together. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, that's like day before yesterday's hole. Beautiful. We'll sit up right here. Push this one out while we're here. Yeah. And just like that, we're fishing. Well, I was kind of worried about being out here by myself. There's now a group over there group down there and a group down there me makes four so I'm no longer worried about it that's awesome that's just awesome
Oh. Yep, I'm recording too. Hell yeah. Got something. Ooh, 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 ooh. Quit spinning me. This one's been caught before. Come on. Uh, well, one on the ice. I got my hands cold. All right, one down on the ice, huh? And on the shrimp tail, how interesting. Alright, wonder if I can do that again. Quit flopping towards the hole. Flop that way. No. Oh, there he is. There he is. Feels about the same size. No, that's the size I want. That's better. That is much better. Much, much better. Oh, quit flopping. Whoa. Oh, I don't know if y'all could hear that, but there was a continuous run of breaking ice there. Did not like that. Uh. 
right, well, that's half my limit. Not bad. One little one, one decent one. Oh. oh, he came off. I know my sonar's not working now. Wager my bait's gone. Yep. Bait's gone. Swiped. Uh, repeat process. Shrimp tail. Little chick. Just missed that one, so here we go, right straight back down to the bottom. I'm sorry if lighting bad or anything like that. I'm standing in directional way, so hopefully the wind's not too bad for y'all. There we are. There's the bottom. Reach down in the hole, and then we're gonna pick back up and sit right like that. Right there. Bam. Now we're gonna step back and watch for a few. This is a dead, so this can just come out. I'm not gonna waste all my charging on it. Well, looking at that, we might have to be going soon. Probably about the time the sunlight disappears, we're out of here. One guy down there is already packed up, and that group over there is already packed up. So we'll bide our time and see. There's another guy sitting on the ice over here. But we're just biding our time at this point. See if we can limit out with two more decent ones or not. We'll know shortly. Well, the camera died, but as I was saying, for uh, craps and curiosities, we switched these. Now the one that's had shrimp on it the whole time is over here on the tip up with its shrimp. And the one that's been on the tip up with its mealworms is over here. And we're gonna see if that makes any difference at all. Hoping not. I'm hoping we can nail a couple more before heading out of here to go home. Because that storm's bearing down on us. So I'm hoping we get a couple more and we get to go home.
Oh, good thing I was looking at that one. Good thing I was looking at that one. He was running away with it, yo. Running away with it. Little guy. Oh, no. Come here. Hey, you. Yeah. Now that's what I was coming for. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Right in the snout. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm gonna set this down. Hey, right in the snout was a little jig. Oh. Okay, stop that. And secondly, y'all see that? I'll get some better footage in a minute. But look at that. He's got scars. And he's on both sides too. Yep, both sides. We'll get a better footage. All right, here we go for number four. Let's see if we can get her done. Get her done, get her done, get her done. Yeah, ready to go again. See if we can get four on shrimp. And these things can be a lifesaver for y'all. Hot hands. Get some today. Three. Ooh, that was a good one. Switched them back, but made this the tipping one. That's just sitting there. As you can see, one more. We can go home. The way they've been gone, I'd love to get one more bigger one. But we'll see. I just missed him on this rod. I saw him take it. There he is. No, he's off again. What the? There you go. Good grief. I can't set the hook with this rod. Oh, there's the problem. There we go. Guess I'm supposed to have this one. <laughs> that took forever. The drag all screwed up and everything. Oh. Ah. You are so tiny though. Well folks, you're probably not gonna believe me, but it's the truth. As I was getting that fish unhooked, um, I got it directly out of his mouth. He hit on the little tungsten bullfly. And as I got him unhooked, he flopped back down the hole immediately after the camera died. So I'm 99% sure it's not on there. And after the camera died, he continued to get on down the hole and go back. He's a... Ooh, I have the hiccups. And he was smaller than my smallest one. So I'm not necessarily disappointed. But that was a struggle. I hope that all got on camera. That was horrible. Horrible. Hopefully we can do better for one more.
Well, that was fun. There he is. Might be a good one. Give me a run around. Ooh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. He's seen a hole before. Jesus, dude. Oh, another little one. Well, <clears throat> are you free? He's free. Another little one. Pretty colors. I'm gonna tell him Asa La Vista because he's tiny. Go, go, kick, bye, see ya, gone. And this shrimp is still good. Well, kinda. There. Bottom. Oh, on the way down. I didn't even have a time to get it set, y'all. He had it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. He's in my other rod. Oh, or I have two. Ugh. I highly doubt that. Ooh, that's a good one. I might have to. No, I got one. I just saw my line. Ooh, hey, there's a trout to take home. Right there, right there. Come here. Come here, baby. Get out of there, yeah. All right, it's time to go home. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all tangled up. All right, you stop. I'm shaking on that one, y'all. He literally took that on the way down. I didn't have time to get that set. Oh my goodness, that is crazy, y'all. All right, now let's see. Can I get... Both lures, all three lures are right there, so screw this. He tangled that up. Whoa, oh, Jesus. 
and pull. Well, that was Team Chaos for a minute. Wow. All right. Well, and with that big beauty, that one's got some moss or something on him. But with that one, we're calling it a day. Bam. There's the harvest for the day. All right. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. There's Kelly. She says hi. No, stay. Stay. She's excited over something. I don't know what. But for today, this is what we were using. This is a little HT Tech Fast Sticks, Pro Sticks. I had to look. I just got it the other day. I didn't even know. Right there, you can see it's a Fast Sticks Pro Sticks. Uh, got a quick little tip on it. Quick tip. Stiff back, great for trout, walleye, things like that. And this is the matching rod, the Fast Sticks High Sticks from HT, the Pro Sticks. 27 inch, yep, 27 inch medium, as they call it. Um, and I'm, the reason I got this rod and that it struck my interest, I don't know if I can get it so you can see that. Oh, I can't. See that? It's square. It's square. So that's what intrigued me. It was literally the only one on the shelf, and the whole rod is square. All the way down. See, it's flat. It's square. Anyway, so that's why it intrigued me. I like odd things, and it was literally the only one there. And I've never seen a square ice fishing rod, so I couldn't resist. I got it. It's got a decent little tip. It's great for, like, trout. If I wasn't doing trout, I'd probably put, like, some 10-pound test on this, some 10-pound um, braid or something on this, maybe some 8-pound um, mono or fluoro and do like walleye and wiper and stuff like that if I was in like Denver metro area where I have multi-species on the ice um, but for today this little we're gonna do it like this I believe yep this little yellow tiger glow mondo they call it the mondo jig m-o-n-d-o or m-o-n-g-o mongo uh, jig was the trick and then this little mongo jig tipped with shrimp tipped with fresh shrimps was the trick and that was what literally all of my fish came on i did get one bite off of the tungsten bull flies that had butter worms and mealworms on them oh i did even catch one i'm sorry i caught one on a wax worm on a tungsten bull fly but otherwise this was the trick. This was what they wanted today. They wanted this little jig with just some shrimp tipped on it. And that was what it was. So, that was a fun day. We're going to try and do it again. But until next time, y'all remember, y'all stay safe. Y'all have fun. Stay rolling my stones. And until next time, I will see y'all wherever the stones roll to. And I'll see you in the next time y'all come visit the high country. Remember, ooh, remember, you want to support me more doing this more? Go over to thehighcountry.tv and sign up. That directly helps me go do more of this. None of this waiting on YouTube to monetize me and all of that stuff. Thehighcountry.tv and you'll be directly helping me. Your membership there means a lot and there's going to be a lot more content over there. I'm waiting for weather to break from this every few days nasty weather and then I can get out and do some more recording of non-fishing things that YouTube does not like and they will be over there on the High Country TV. Until next time, y'all stay safe. I'll see you in my stones. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Day we hustle but the night we... Know that the ride or die. I'm a OT boy. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the
ride or die.